Hi, I'm Christy Jones and I am the Community Projects Coordinator at McKady Hospital. And in that role, I get to do a lot of really awesome projects that change the lives of people in this community. So the Northern Utah Hope Task Force, or New Hope, is an awesome group of people from this community that comes together to address suicide prevention because we are losing far too many of our um, young people and adults in this community to suicide. We have trained and certified instructors who go into the schools and provide a fantastic presentation to the young people about suicide, suicide prevention, and how to help someone they might be worried about. This is an awesome component of what we do. All right, I'm a high school teacher out at Fremont High School. It's located in Plain City. Uh, I teach 10th through 12th graders health education. It's a basic health course that anyone in the state of Utah has to take to graduate high school. I'm really grateful that the new hope has come into the school. It's made a big change. We're seeing more students not being afraid to go to counselors, more students that are willing to say, you know what, I need some help. And then those that are saying, you know what, I think my friend's struggling, our family member's struggling. Had they not come in, there might be students who were missed or students who didn't get the care or help that they needed, and we might not have them here. And so whether it's one life or 20 lives from that one presentation, it's worth every little effort that they put in because these kids are starting to see that their, their future is bright because sometimes they get so bombarded with the things around them that they forget that, you know what, I can make it one more day. And that's really what they're trying to teach them through this new hope is that one more day they can make it and that one more day leads them to the future that they can have. I had another student uh, that came in. This young lady, she appears just to be great, fine, that she's one of the more popular students. Everybody loved her. She seemed happy on the outside. Um, but there was a day she came into class and she just seemed really upset. Um, but nothing came by me. And luckily a friend who she had been text messaging throughout the day saying, saying, I don't know what to do, I'm feeling really sad, and kind of giving some of those warning signs. And this young student, she recognized, hey, we just talked about this in health class. Um, the New Hope told us, even though it's through text message, that we can't ignore it. And so she brought her friend along with her, and they came to my door. The one friend crying, the one that was suicidal was crying, and the other says, I'm really concerned. This is what she's sending me in a text message. And so she recognized those warning signs again that we discussed in class. We also work with survivors because those who have lost a loved one or who have had an attempt, they often need our support. And so we work really hard to try to help make sure our survivors are doing well and getting the support that they need.